Like many on December 7, 1941, Ray Emery was caught off guard by the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. I thought at the time that, uh, you know, that this is really a good mock air raid, you know, thing like that. So I pulled the cover off the, the rest of the way, and about that time another torpedo plane going by, and I saw their big red ball, and then I realized it was the Japanese were attacking Pearl Harbor. By the end of the attack, 2,400 Americans were dead. More than one quarter were unidentified. The unknown are buried at the National Cemetery of the Pacific in a volcanic crater known as the Punch Bowl. Ray Emery first learned of these graves during a trip to the cemetery shortly before the 50th anniversary of the attack. This year, the 91-year-old former sailor is being honored by the Navy and the National Park Service for his work to identify the unknown since that visit. He's devoted uh, to the idea of the accuracy of all the casualties, uh, where these casualties are buried, not only at Punchbowl, but other cemeteries. Using the Navy's burial records from archives in Washington, Emory determined which ships the dead in each grave were from. Gravestones now show markers for the USS Arizona, USS Oklahoma, and USS West Virginia. Emory has also lobbied for forensic scientists to exhume the skeletons of those who might be identified. It's just something I got involved with that was very, very interesting and probably in spite of trying to tell the government they screwed up maybe a little bit here or there that we've been able to solve some of the mysteries maybe of World War II. So far, Emory has pushed the government into relabeling more than 300 gravestones with the ship's names of the deceased, all in his effort to have Pearl Harbor remembered and remembered accurately. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.